Welcome back, Dr. Guthels here again. If you remember in the last video, we ended on the quest to earn a badge and we were supposed to earn this pig enclosure badge. Now, the next best thing to do aside from quests in Learn to Mod, I think at least, is to learn. And the way you learn is by doing badges. Now we have lots of different types of badges. We have skills and drills badges. These gray ones over here might not be there when you log in because we're slowly transitioning into the Voxel versions of them. They're pretty much the same though. We also have some Pokemon badges, some Magic Wand badges, some Sidekick badges, building a zoo, and then JavaScript mini badges. Now, JavaScript mini badges are pretty interesting because all of our badges work in Blockly right now, but it'll be a great for you to learn how to write JavaScript code. And so these badges help you transition from block-based coding to JavaScript coding. It's pretty great. Let's go into the skills and drills badges first. The skills and drills badges are kind of like vegetables or broccoli. Maybe you like them, maybe you don't, but they're very, very important for your coding health. You'll see that there are over 200 skills and drills badges. You do not have to do all of the badges in order. You don't have to do all of the badges, but this is where you want to come if you ever get stuck. If you're trying to write a mod and you don't know how to do it, come to the skills and drills. I'm sure we'll have a badge for that. So, I recommend starting with the getting started badges. Let's go and write our first mod. All right, so on the left-hand side, oh, you can see I've already started this one. On the left-hand side are all of my coding blocks. In the middle is Voxel, which is how we're going to test our code. Over our Voxel world, we have our code that can be picked up and moved around. On the right-hand side are instructions, along with a video that teaches you how to do it. On the bottom here are some buttons that I'll explain later. And then over here we have a hint button as well as a progress circle. So when the circle is 100% green, then we know we've finished it. So for this badge, what we have to do is make sure that we've connected our Minecraft account. And then we're going to drag the function block into our mod and we're going to name that function main. So I'm going to start over. I'm going to delete those, go under functions, drag it over and type main. Then I'm going to find the send message block under Minecraft, then players, and drag that into the function. Pretty easy so far. Then I'm going to find the text block under the text category and type hello world. Great! The last step is that under the players category, I need to connect the me block. Look at that, we've earned the badge. Now before we go on, I highly recommend testing it. So to test it, we press this little play button down here in the right, left hand corner. And when we're inside of our Voxel world, we type M on our keyboard. I have a lot of really cool things that happen when you run a mod. And if you notice down here, it says hello world. So I'm gonna try that again. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this over and pause it. And you can kind of see, oops, you can kind of see right down here, it said hello world. I recommend trying it yourself and seeing what happens. Since we've earned this badge, it's colored in and we can go on to the next badge. This badge teaches you how to run your mod in Minecraft. We're not gonna do that today because I wanna focus on Voxel. It's my favorite thing. Then we're gonna do some getting started review badges and keep going on. And there are hundreds and hundreds of badges for you to work through. Now, since we're doing the badges, we should remember that we have a quest that we've been told to do. We're supposed to find the pig enclosure badge and we're supposed to complete it. So why don't we try to do that together? I'm gonna go to do badges and I have a feeling the pig enclosure is gonna be in the zoo. So let's go create a zoo. Aha, looks like there are a few pig enclosure badges. I wonder which one. I'm assuming it's going to be the first one. Now this badge has some pretty complicated code in it because this badge expects you to have completed the skills and drills badges or at least most of them. Now I've done a lot of badges here on Learn to Mod so I know what it means when it says create a main function and then make sure that it's called make sure that you have a drone called D sorry about that um, but you might not know how, how it works yet. That's okay because 
If you don't, no problem. You should just go back, do badges, and do some skills and drills badges. That's what you should always do if you get stuck. The other thing that you should do is check out the forums or ask a question here on the questions or feedback tab. In a later video, we'll go over the forums. So that's how you earn badges. That's another really great way of learning how to code and how to make your own learn to mod Minecraft slash Voxel mods. Pretty great, huh? In the next video, we'll keep doing some playing stuff. Maybe we'll build a schematic, build some texture packs, check out the worlds, and maybe we'll buy some artifacts. That sounds like fun, so stay tuned.